This scene along South Marcellus Avenue Wednesday morning is filled with leftover debris and stacked particle board, which workers use to cover the windows of the Saintsville Church. Less than 24 hours before, first responders battled a massive blaze after the church caught fire on a day when temperatures soared to 108 degrees. It was truly sad. For longtime neighborhood residents like Mabel King, the damage left behind weighs on her heart. Because my children and I used to come out here. And I was on the way home. Michael Long lives across the street. My wife called and said she think that church was on fire. By the time I pulled on the street, it was just happening. And it was already a blaze, like already coming through the roof. A view that made him fear for his family's safety. And it was really like an inferno coming out of there. It was pretty scary. Um, I got a little nervous when the fire started bursting through the windows on this side and through the top of the roof on this side. They watched in total disbelief as fire tore through the walls and roof. So during like about the hour and a half point, I was like, we might need to get the kids and get out of here if they can't get this thing under control. We got to go. It was a drastic and jarring change for Long, who says the church had always provided him peace. I see that church every day and I just get like a sense of I don't know, home. It makes me feel like I know I'm home. I see that church, got the church right across the street. It's a good feeling to have it right there, that's for sure. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but church leaders say they do plan to rebuild. In Dallas, I'm Stacia Wilson.